Donald Trump's habit of constant name-calling of foreign leaders such as Korean leader Kim Jong-un stands out as an exceptional case, but is not unique and has precedent in U.S. history, an American analyst says. George W. Bush called Kim Jong-il a pygmy and a spoiled child, so there is plenty of this stuff in the past, said David Lindorf, an author and investigative journalist, in an interview with Press TV Monday. Former U.S. Vice President Joe Biden denounced Trump's rhetoric against the North Korean leadership on Monday, saying it is beneath the office of the presidency. We are admired not just for the exercise of our power, but the power of our example. And it matters the way we conduct our discourse. It matters the way in which we talk, Biden told NBC News. Our leaders have impact on attitudes. And I just think it's a big mistake and it's beneath the office. Biden's remarks came a day after Trump exchanged schoolyard taunts with the North Korean leader. In fact, the former VP was specifically asked to provide his views on the president's tweet over the weekend, in which Trump called Kim short and fat. Why would Kim Jong-un insult me by calling me old, when I would never call him short and fat? Trump tweeted on Sunday. Oh well, I try so hard to be his friend and maybe someday that will happen. Tensions have been building on the Korean peninsula following a series of nuclear and missile tests by Pyongyang as well as threats of war and personal insults traded between Trump and the North Korean leader.